going to do it. For the ghost hangout. Ah, you should. His Before head the is off. Century. Oh, for heaven's sake, get on with it. Milady. Who now takes my hand in dark? Oh. <laughs> I did it. I asked her. Uh, forgetting anything? What? No. Goodness. Uh, Milady. Uh, might I borrow my body, perchance? <laughs> Milady. He's, He's dancing without his head, head, dude. What a handsome couple we made. <laughs> Rebellion. We did that. I remember that. Oh, here's the key. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Got it. On the wrist. It's easy, baby. It's easy. Oh, one more, one more. There it is. Guys, we're actually going to do this, I think. We just got to find the last one. Do you even comprehend? Revelio. Breaking your own The waste frown. They just burn the castle down. Oh. Oh, there it is, baby! There it is, guys! Okay, now we just gotta find Rebellion. the key. There it is. There it is. This is it. The final key. The final key! Come on, all in the rest here. Oh! Smack dab. Guys, we freaking got it. That's it. There it is. I'm making good progress with those tokens. Oh, you gotta put them all in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is satisfying. Another house token for the house chest. This is satisfying right here. Look at it this locking in, too. This challenge is coming along nicely. That's it. I'm making good progress with those tokens. All right, last one. Here it is, guys. For the legendary cloak. Finally, we will look cool. I mean, I think we already look cool, but here it is. The final result. Here we go. The last house token. Time to see what's inside. Ooh. Oh. 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 There it is. What do we get? Well, look at that. There it is. Thanks goes to the former headmistress, Eupraxia Mole. But we look so good already. But, oh, baby. Look at the shimmer. It's a holographic. Oh, but dude, the lucky hat. They're always after me, lucky charms. Of course, we already beat the game um, main story. But there was another thing where we had to do all this completion content in order to get an extra ending. At the Great Hall here. We had to hit level 34. Oh, they're taking the owls. Oh, well, well, no cheating. Come on, man. He just gives him a little nod. Expelled. Yeah.
Did she? Oh. That was sick. What? Jobbernal. I forget what it's called. Oh, is that the cupboard that shows you your fear? And then you got to do the... Make it goofy. Ha ha, it's a cat! Uh, Leviosa, that thing. Am I right? Oh, there's me! Damn, I look good, dude. Damn, I look good, dude. Yeah, wave at me. Freaking, look at my cape. Look at my cloak. See that? It's holographic. First edition holographic, ladies. You know? This year we have seen our Nobody wants to sit next to me. Exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. And now we can finish. The loyalty of Helga Hufflepuff. Yeah! Dude, I was farming, man. I was farming. I better win this house cup. I better have won this house cup right here. Of Salazar Slytherin. Boom! Burn! This year's house cup. Okay, they had a little bit of cheering. Excuse me, headmaster, if I may. Oh, Weasley, what do you got for us? One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts. Not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student. That's me. That's me. New student, hear that? Well, it would seem that it certainly merits a hundo. I'd say a one hundo. One hundred points to their house. Weezy's out of her mind these days. Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner. Oh, look at the style, man. Look at how boring all the other guys' outfits are, you know? It's like, read a book every once in a while. Learn some style. We won the cup. We won it. There it is. There's the real ending, guys. Graduated, got the cup, balling out of our mind. I beat the main story yesterday. But today we just went through and did all the side stuff and then uh, beat the game. Bada bing. Hope they add some DLC. I would imagine they do, especially for how good this is done. Out of 10, I'm giving it an 8.6. Very good game. Very good. God of War. I think the, the reason I like that a little better is just the, the combat was a little smoother. Switching between all the spells was a little much. I like that they had as many spells as they did, though. I, I don't know how you make it better on controller. What would have been nice is if I had, like, a full layout where I could set every hotkey to what I want on PC. Um, but it felt a little much when I was trying to call everything in all at the same time, which I know you're not necessarily supposed to do, but I want to do it. I don't know. And it would have been fun to have more combat stuff. Just had different options, especially the boss fights. I feel like if, if the boss fights had a little bit more variation... A lot of it, or like made it so you couldn't use your special meter on it or something. But I think what you could do to just make it more fun for yourself is like complete the game with restrictions. Like if you wanted to do a hardcore playthrough with, you know, no, uh, you know, fire only spells or something crazy like that, you know? That might make it a little more challenging, a little more fun. But overall, great game. I think a lot of I give a lot of credit to it for, you know, the memories as well. I'm a little biased. I probably gave it an extra point as well, just because 
you know, it's a Harry Potter game. If it wasn't a Harry Potter game, maybe I wouldn't would have taken a point or two off of it as well. I don't know. Of course, maybe a game... The thing is, this game already has so much, like, lore and everything to it that they got a, they had so much to work off for it that they can make this super expansive universe because everything's already created for it, right? It was really just kind of fitting it to this world that already has potions, that already has ingredients and spells and things that they're just kind of working around versus having to make all of that from scratch and make a game, you know? I don't think it would be as robust of a game if it didn't have all of that in the first place. Yeah, I'm not rating it too for the sake of it having a multiplayer or whatever. I think that'd be great, but I'm, I'm basing it on what is there, what it's designed to be, not what it's not. Want an insane wizard that's not a dorky kid? Hey, well, that's what you could be in this, man. Did you see my outfit at the end? I ain't no dork. I'm badass. Hogwarts Battle Royale? <laughs> Dude, imagine that. Oh my gosh. That would blow up. I'm surprised there hasn't been like a Hunger game. Battle Royale made. They've created games that are like that. Like um, Darwin Project. It's kind of like that. I mean, it's very, very much like that. But it just wasn't in that universe. Right? If they created Darwin Project in... Hunger Games, like proper Hunger Games uh, IP, bro, that would be nuts. Yeah, we play we play a lot of Battle Royales here, though. I know not everybody, especially if you're single player, you probably don't like it. It's, it's way harder. It's way more competitive. You know, you can't just pause it. But that's just kind of fun. I mean, it's very fun to play through a game like this. And I'm glad you guys tuned in, watched it. This was by far... The most successful playthrough of a single-player game that I have ever done. This beat all the other games that I've played. In terms of performance of the playthrough. It blew it out of the water, man. Even all day today, we had 2K concurrence all day. Sad I missed it? Hey, don't worry. We're going to have a bunch of videos coming from this. You'll be able to see it all. Watch it at your own pace for it. We'll be doing daily videos on it starting next week. We'll have uh, some more of those coming. Level 20 right now? Heck yeah. I don't know. I don't know for like the price, whatever, comparison for value. You could get a solid 40 hours out of the game, I'd say. 30, 40 hours. Even if you're kind of just a completioner. So it's like two bucks an hour for a $60 game. Ugh, so you'd be the judge if that's worth for, for you. But I do. you could just watch through. I mean, I'm a little biased. I'd say just watch through the playthrough. It's a pretty linear story anyways. So you can get a lot out of it from just watching it. Plus, I'm going to upload it and I get views out of it. So I would recommend to just watch it. But that being said, you know, if somebody would ask me, what, you know, is it a good game? Would you recommend it? I would recommend it. Yeah. I, it was a fun playthrough. There's more that I think could have been done with it. But especially if you're a Harry Potter fan. But if you are, you probably already have the game. It's a little easy. I think this is on the easier side of games that I've played as well in this style. So that might be a benefit to you. You might like that. Or if you want a really hard game, you might be disappointed by that. But this was more than enough content for me, man. I'm good to go. I got everything out of this that I could have ever wanted. Rebellion. And if they add DLC, we're gonna be we're gonna be ready for it.